Welcome to Get More Happy. We invite you to journey with us as we find ways, big and small, to get more happy in your life. Hello. Um, we're together. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. That's awesome. We're feeling bad. I'm feeling bad. Yeah. I wasn't feeling bad. But you, you were. Yeah. It sucked. It sucked. Yeah. It sucked. But, you know, I'm back. You're better now? Yeah. So it's all good. Yeah. So we were just having lunch and catching up. And we started talking about, you know, we all kind of get into our routines of what life is. Yeah. And as we get older, we don't necessarily um, expand our minds anymore. Yeah. Work your mind. Yeah. So we wanted to talk about, you said it better than I did. Stimulating our mental, mental acumen. acumen. Yes. Yeah. Which, see, I think just the title stimulate my mental acumen. No. <laughs> it was a pretty big word. <laughs> no, but I was thinking about it because I was working on something the other day and I was reading this very long article, which was very in depth mm -hmm. and very, like every sentence was packed full of mm -hmm. big information. I was trying to comprehend it and I thought, oh Lord, I'm so glad I'm not in school anymore. But then I thought, that's pretty sad. Like, why can't I do it? Like, because yeah. college students, they have eight classes, how many ever yeah. classes, four or five, and they have ton they're doing these this mm -hmm. over and over and mm -hmm. over and over, constantly having to be And we felt level. like we were super smart, you know? I, yeah. I know um, for me, I have found with the advent of the phone mm -hmm. that my, um, not, I mean, my mental acumen, I do things to, to keep that up, but my uh, attention span. Oh God, my attention span super is narrow, and I love to read. I don't like to watch TV. I watch TV with my family, so like I have a couple hours, an hour or two at night, where I sit and I'll watch whatever they're watching. First of all, I get annoyed because they all want to watch the same things over and over and over again. Like, and I, not, I'd rather watch something new. Yeah, I'm bored. I mean, I have movies that I love, but I'm like, can we watch something new? Right. So we kind of had that dilemma going on, but oftentimes, you know, I would much rather read than watch TV. I mean, not that there's anything wrong. And you wrong. are a big reader. I am, but I have noticed that even, I'm not reading high level books, I'm reading fun books. And, and still that's fine, Yeah. but I've noticed that I can't sit and read as long as I used to. That I just, my brain, just starts pinging everywhere else, or I have the phone sitting next to me, so let me just take a you know, little break, and I, I'm ping, 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 ping a lot more than I used to be. Mm -hmm. Well, it's interesting because I've been trying to evaluate myself on that too. I'm not a, a huge reader. I don't like to sit still, mm -hmm. which is, is hard to read when right. you're running around. Right. Um, but because I have never been a huge reader, I read very slowly. Mm. And so, I've always kind of dealt with the fact that I I can get distracted because right. I read so daggone slowly. Right. Um, so my friend Luis gave me a book to read, which was fascinating. It was about um, corruption within our judicial system. Mm -hmm. and it was written by this famous female lawyer. And it was really interesting. I started reading it, but it also was, you had to really pay attention. It wasn't for fun. I mean, right. You know. No, I know what you mean. And so... I couldn't do it. Like yeah. I, within one chapter, I said, "Okay, I love it. It was great, but I'm gonna have to get it back." Yeah. But um, so I started something new to me a couple months ago. Uh, my friend Dina is like addicted to Audible books. Oh yeah, which you I were telling me that. Yeah. yeah. And I never, I knew what Audible was, but right. I had never really done an Audible. But it's kind of nice because then you can have it on while you're taking the dogs for a walk. Yeah. And I might really enjoy that too because I'm like you. I mean, like I'll sit and read, but again, not for very long anymore. Mm -hmm. And I like to be on the go. I yeah. like to be moving. Unfortunately, we live in Texas. So kind of, kind of, yeah. Um, but that might be good. That might be a good thing to, you know, you even mentioned that. I yeah, yeah. That. So I've gotten a couple books. So one, my friend Anne had hooked me up with Audible a long time ago for one book that she wanted me to listen to. And so I knew, I was familiar with it, but I didn't really get into it. But this time around, um, Dina wanted to share a book that we could talk about. So we did that. And then I found a couple other books that were pretty, um, like insightful. They weren't fiction. Right. No, I know. So anyway, I've enjoyed it. It is kind of nice. So what else, is there anything else that you do other than 
Well, one thing that both of us have done, and you probably haven't focused on it, but I think probably a lot of us have done in the last three months, especially people in our age group and mm -hmm. older, I think that all of us have been forced to learn some new things, which is also yeah. very good. Yeah. You, because we're trying to do Zooms and things right, like this just to right. connect with people, and we had no clue what that was. You know, it's funny because I didn't even think about this, but Becca and I had talked about adaptability uh -huh. uh, last week. I think it was last week. Yeah. The week before, because last week was oh, Andy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And um, what I found was, you know, today, so one of my, I, I have two places I work. One of them is not open. They're right. opening in August. And they asked me for my availability. And I'm like, Ugh. I mean, this is what it is now, but this isn't what it used to be. And, the, you know, whatever, know whatever. Gonna change. Exactly. And so then kind of coming to the thought that like how that can be very scary for a lot of us. It can be very, um, you know, I can't find a routine. I can't find something to stick with. Um, but it can also be an opportunity to be more adaptable, to go with the flow. And I do think that that is part of our mental acumen. Oh, yeah, it is. Um, I was telling you, I do some puzzles, mm -hmm. like, like the Sudoku and stuff like that. I read the newspaper every day. Um, We're both... Gonna try your app. That oh works. yeah, I found an app. You know, I again like to be busy, mm -hmm. and um, was trying to look for hobbies that I could do on my time frame. Yeah, you know, or, and just like little blips. Yeah, like while you're sitting to get your oil changed. Or yeah, water, exactly, you know. yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And so I found an app to learn a language. I'm excited because yeah. I've been trying to get myself back into right. Spanish, and that's what I'm doing. Spanish right, right now. That's and it's. There's a daily goal. Oh. And cool. so it's easy. I, you know, sometimes I just get on and I do the daily goal, but I find myself going back to it like when I have five minutes when I'm waiting for somebody, we're getting ready to go somewhere. Yeah. And not that we go anywhere anymore, but like we're getting ready, you know, to go to the grocery store. Yeah, exactly. Or somebody has to go get their mask or, you know, whatever, whatever. And then I'll, I'll get on for those few minutes and do a couple lessons. And so that one's really cool. Yeah, that is cool. Um, I have a couple of puzzles. Um, that I do on the phone and I do them as daily. Like I don't, I told you, I don't yeah. like to do open end it. Yeah. You like to do something that's fine. Yeah, finally, finally, finally. Yeah. finally. <clears throat> exactly. Cause that way I see it as a goal to do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, another thing that I've been doing and this, you have to be very careful with, but I have found a couple friends on Facebook who will actually discuss topics yes we don't go to the yeah. hot topics yeah but they'll discuss mm -hmm. topics um kindly and respectfully yes. even though we're from different points of yes. view and that has caused me to think higher too and like we were talking about before it's caused me to make sure that i know what i'm talking about exactly. i know where where I read your source it. was yeah things yeah. like that so, yeah we were talking about that with uh <laughs> political religious discussions really anything where people can be very passionate about their view um but there's a lot of misinformation flying around on a lot of things and um so we were discussing this while we were having lunch about really knowing where your opinion is coming from mm -hmm. and um, double checking your source. Right. And then also kind of a uh, balance. So, I mean, unfortunately in today's news, you can listen to things that just completely reaffirm your viewpoint mm -hmm. that aren't necessarily factual based on all sides. Right that are not necessarily factual based and are just kind of inflaming you, mm -hmm. inflaming your passions. And so having discussions, um, having discussions, discussions, not arguments, yes. with somebody who believes differently mm -hmm. than you. And so, and I, I find myself, like I can, I can see something, unfortunately, social media is very prevalent mm -hmm. and it is where we spend a lot of our time these days. Yeah. Unfortunately. And it is where a lot of misinformation comes from. Um, I remember the last time I watched a newscast. So I stopped watching when my um, oldest daughter was a baby. Mm -hmm. And she used to love Jeopardy of all things. This, the music would come on and she'd just, you know, she was like nine months, whatever, yeah. year old. And I had the TV on and it was when uh, the embassy 
um, the American embassy in Africa was bombed. Oh, man. And they showed some very graphic pictures. And, you were like, and I was like, okay, I'm done, yeah. you know. Um, but after that, you know, still when the kids weren't around here and there, I would watch the news myself. And the day, the last newscast I watched, period, was um, the Sandy Hook, uh, right? Yeah. And what made me stop was two two things. First of all, the emotional toll and of it, of constantly being bombarded because mm -hmm. there was nothing really to report, but it was such a huge story. That they didn't so like yeah, so they just kept barraging you, you know, like you just, yeah, you couldn't, you couldn't, let it go you couldn't touch your breath, yeah. right? So that was one thing. The second thing was, um, they misreported who the perpetrator was and they said it was his brother. Oh. And so his brother is at work and all of a sudden starts getting all these phone calls and his brother's like, I don't know what you're talking about, you know? And then later on come to find out, you know, what? and they changed who it was, but the thing is, I think that there's such a rush to get the news first mm -hmm. that, you don't that and so it's so much easier to just put the wrong information out there and correct it later and then correct it and later and nobody like, and nobody ever pays attention to the correction because by then they've moved the on to the next over. sensation. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I don't do that anymore. Um, but I kind of feel like that's what social media yeah, has done. It has. And so we tend to just go along one line. And so I find that when I'm looking at something that even if I believe it, even if I completely agree with it and it completely makes sense, I can still tell if they're, if it's told with a bias. Yeah. Yeah. And so I do tend to then go to the other side and see what it says and see what the other side is saying about the same issue. See, and I like that about you because I, I often find it fascinating to listen to the other side of my point of view. Absolutely. Because I may be dead set on my idea based on X. Mm -hmm. Then I go listen to their dispute or their, their reasoning and they're talking about something I hadn't even thought about about it. You know, mm -hmm. like maybe they're on a financial aspect of it and I was on an emotional or whatever right. it is. Right. And it is interesting. And I know you, I used to always think, well, you can't you can't change people. You can't change people. And in general, I would say that's pretty you accurate. You shouldn't try to change people. I think right. that's more what it says. That's true. Yeah. But I do, even as I'm aging, I have definitely changed some of my viewpoints. Yeah. So, and I think um, it was Haley that wrote something about that recently and talking about how that's what yeah. is supposed to be happening. Yeah. Is she posted. When you're, you know given new information to evaluate it and then change your mind if necessary. Yeah, I yeah. loved her post because she said, um, if you have a different point of view than me, please don't unfriend me. Yeah, absolutely. Please stay my friend so I can keep hearing the other side. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I think that is a huge piece to mental acumen as well. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. All right. Um, so if you noticed, we had a guest last week. Yes. And it was amazing. It was amazing to have an interview and, um, again, a new voice. Yeah. You know, somebody with a different experience than us. So we're thinking about doing it more often. Absolutely. And if you know somebody or are somebody who would like to um, come on with us yeah. and talk about something, you know, I think that our only thing is, you know, it be like trying to find happiness in the face of, or despite, or, you know, just, yeah, like a positive spin on things. Yeah, positive. Yeah, yeah. All right. We don't care if your viewpoint's the same as ours, but no. just a positive spin. Yeah. Okay. All right. Like us, follow us, find us, share us, Message comment. Us, comment. Yeah. All right, thanks. Thanks.